third grade math, number 57, divide by 4. So, let's take a look here. Here's our rule. Dividing by 4 means you split the number into 4 equal groups, or you put 4 in each group. You find out how many times 4 can fit into that number. Okay? So, let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got these dots. We've got 12 of them. And we need to divide them into four. Four groups, okay? Or we need to put four in each group. Either way, we need to divide it up, okay? So let's put four dots in each group and see what we get. Four dots. Four dots. And four dots. Each group has four dots. How many groups did I make? I made three. One, two, three. So 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Now another way we could have done it is by making the groups. Okay? We have 20 and we need to divide it into four groups. So here's what we can do. We make our four groups and we start putting dots inside. But they each got to take a turn so that you can do it evenly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now you have to make them take turns like that or it's not going to work. So twenty divided into four groups, how many dots are in each group? One, two, three, four, five. So 20 divided by 4 equals 5. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. See? 4 goes into 16 how many times? Well, we can also use our number line. We can also count on our fingers. Aside from using these ways. Let's count on our fingers by 4's. 4 8, 12, 16. Four fingers. Four goes into 16 four times. To finish it, we need to do the multiplication. Four times four is 16. We need to do our subtraction and get our zero. Okay? Now let's use the number line. Okay? Four goes into 24 how many times? We're going to skip count on our number line by fours until we get to 24. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're at 24. And we skipped six times. So 24 can be divided by four six times. Four goes into 24 six times. To finish it, we need to do the multiplication of four times six is 24. Do our subtraction and get our zero. Four goes into 32 how many times? Well, let's make our four groups. One, two, three, four. Okay? Now, let's count up to 32, taking turns going in each group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. There, we split the 32 evenly into four groups, and now all we need to do is count how many are in the group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 8 in each group, so 4 goes into 32 8 times. And remember, we didn't put 4 into 3, we put 4 into 32, so the 8 goes above the 2. We do our multiplication, 4 times 8 is 32 do our subtraction and get zero, and we're finished with our long division problem. Four goes into 32 eight times. How many times can four go into a 36? Well, if it went into 32 eight times, how many times would it fit into a 36? How many more is 36 than 32? Let's count. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. It's four more. 
So one more four fit into here. If you put one more into each of these groups, instead of eight, you'd have nine. So 36 divided by four equals nine because that's four more. We added one more four. We had eight fours, now we have nine fours. 36 divided by four is nine. To finish it, we go four times nine is 36. We do our subtraction and get zero, see? How many times can four go into 40? 40 divided by four. Do you know how much four, how many fours can fit into 40? How can you split this into four equal parts? Look at that. 10, 20, 30, 40. It took four tens to get to 40. We also could have done this, or we could have skip counted on a number line, or we could have counted on our fingers. 10, 20, 30, 40. 40 divided into 4 is 10. 40 divided by 4 is 10. And in this case, we do write above the 4 because we have two digits. We can't add, if we had moved it over so it was like that, that means there would have been an invisible 0 here and we were putting 4 into 400 and we're not doing that. So in this case, it does go above both numbers like that. 4 times 10 is 40. We do our subtraction and get 0. And that's how you divide by 4. Remember, you can use the number line, you can circle some dots, or you can draw the four groups and fill them in, counting, taking e giving each one a turn. Okay? You want to split the number into four equal groups. You want to see how many times four can fit into that number. Memorize that times table. You're doing a great job. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you in the next video.